I have a lot of robots. Now I've done a few videos on Old Hound here and New Hound. I haven't done any for Stupid Simple or Potato here. These guys are going to get their own videos later, but I don't really have all of that ready to go now. And then I've also got, honorary mention here, Low IQ, which I wasn't initially going to include in this video, but it got third place at its last event, so I figured it's worth including. This video I'm just mostly doing feeds and speeds, so how fast the robots drive and how fast their weapons spin. Eventually I might do some more videos with material choice, maybe armor thickness, stuff like that. Let me know what you're interested in, but without further ado, I've got a tachometer and a polycarb box, so let's get some numbers. The first robot that we're rounding up today is the least dangerous one. This is Low IQ. Uh, I made it the night before an event for a plastic ant court category where some spots opened up the night before, and uh, I felt like entering a plastic ant. I thought it would be fun. Uh, the motors, it's powered by an all-in-one like control system for VEX retail. It runs on three AA batteries, so four and a half volts. It's got standard VEX TPR wheels. Diameter is about 44 and a half millimeters. Uh, the wheels RPM, as you can see here, they spin at a very slow 190 RPM and giving us a dry s drive speed of around 0.44 meters per second. So it's not the fastest robot on Earth, but it drives and it pushes things around and uh, hey, it got third place on its first event. Alright, the next robot that we've got here is Potato. I made this for my girlfriend. It's a nice simple robot for her to get started into the combat robot scheme. It's got VEX retail motors, which are normally designed for 9 volts, uh, and it's running at 11.1 volts right now. It's had all kinds of different wheels, because that's really the main thing that you can customize on this robot. It's had everything from the foam latex wheels to TPR wheels. Usually it runs TPR. The diameter is usually around 63, and the wheel RPM is about 407 RPM. That gives us a pretty good drive speed of around 1.35 meters per second. Now most people don't actually think that Potato has a weapon, and that's just because its horn spins so fast during a match that you can't actually see it moving. So in this little clip here, I turned down the weapon speed to around 1%, and uh, stuck the sticker to it and ran it up, and it got up to around 900 RPM, so we can only assume that it'll get up to 9000 RPM, or even higher, uh, when it's you know running full speed. The next robot here is Old Hound. Now this is just the first version of Hound before I redesigned it. It's got a Robots Hit brushless drive. Uh, this is a drive that me and my friend got from somebody else in the uh, robot fighting world and then we kind of modified to our own thing. It's running at 11.1 volts. Uh, it's running foam latex wheels and it's really only run foam latex wheels. I've tried some other things but nothing works quite as well on this robot. Diameter again is 63.5, same as Potato. The wheel RPM for this guy, however, is 1400 RPM. And with that RPM and that wheel size, we get a really respectable drive speed of 4.7 meters per second. So this is New Hound, which is an upgraded and more powerful version of Old Hound. The drive, however, stayed pretty much the same, exact same drive motors, uh, running the exact same voltage. However, these ones are going to much smaller 34.9 millimeter polyurethane Bainbots wheels, and they're running at the same 14,000 or 1400 RPM, and that drops the drive speed to 2.5 meters per second, which is a lot slower, but it's also a lot more controllable. So I like that a lot better on this version of Hound. All right, the last robot we've got in the roundup today is Stupid Simple. Now this was my first. Uh, attempt at a competitive one pound robot and ironically it's done worse than potato in pretty much every event that they've both been to. I named it Stupid Simple because I didn't want to overcomplicate it and uh, I figured the name would remind me but that didn't work. It's running Repeat Drive Mark 1 again at 11.1 .1 volts. It's got the same TPR wheels as Low IQ but they are running a lot faster at around 2000 RPM. Uh, and with the 2000 RPM and 44 millimeter diameter tires, that gives us a top speed of around 4.65 meters per second, which is right up there with Old Hound. So, pretty quick little robot, but it rarely actually gets enough traction to go that fast.
instead of going and making my own box, I went and borrowed this from my friend Peter, who's uh, running Repeat Robotics. And uh, thanks, Peter, for letting me borrow this, especially since you don't know that I'm borrowing it and just left it where I could get to it. Uh, Old Hound had actually a pretty small and relatively slow weapon. It was a 2826 Amazon motor. I don't know exactly the KV because I believe the stator and uh, rotor have changed a few times and I don't think they're original so I think it's either 1800 or uh, 2200. Its voltage is 11.1 .1 and it's geared 3 to 1 down. The theoretical top speed if it's a 2200 KV motor is uh, 8140. Uh, if it's an 1800 KV motor then it's 6660. Uh, either way, the actual top speed is around 6,200 RPM. Uh, the moment of inertia for this guy is uh, 117,000 grams millimeters squared. Uh, and at the speed and that moment of inertia, it gives us around 24 joules of energy. Now, ideally, it gets 45 millimeters of bite, but that is if, you know, it was driving at top speed and the weapon was timed perfectly so that it got a full bite uh, as it went. So it actually never really could get that much bite, but that's like a max possible. Alright, 6200 RPM. And uh, that's a, pretty much what I always ran it at. I never really ran it less than full power because it was a really low geared weapon. But uh, 6000 RPM is still pretty darn good for that little guy. Alright, on to New Hound. New Hound has a 2836 prop drive motor. Uh, it's got a KV of 3000 uh, and at a voltage at 11.1 .1 volts and a gear ratio of 3 to 1 gives us a theoretical top speed of 11,000 RPM. It actually gets pretty close with an actual top speed of 10,700 RPM. The moment of inertia of this guy is 243,000 grams millimeters squared, and with that RPM and that energy, we get 152.7 joules and a bite of 14.5 millimeters. Now, normally I actually run it at around 6,000 RPM, which drops my energy down to 48 joules, but it increases my bite to a theoretical max of around 28 millimeters. So that gets me the ability to get much bigger bites on my opponent and send them up into the air a lot better. A uh, lot less energy, but it's really not needed if you can't deliver it. And our last robot here is Stupid Simple. It has a 2207 Race Star motor. I used to fly these in my drone, so I had a bunch of extras. It has a KV of 2500 RPM, which is honestly way too high for a horizontal spinner. The voltage is 11.1 .1 and it is direct drive 1 to 1. Uh, the theoretical top speed for this thing is a whopping two th or 27,000 RPM. Uh, the actual top speed is only 23,000 RPM, which sounded terrifying when I spun it up in the box here. The moment of inertia of this guy is a lot smaller than Hound. Uh, it's got 74,000 uh, gram millimeters squared, and the energy is with that at that much higher top speed is 216 joules, which is actually higher than Hound at full speed. Uh, the bite on that, in theory, is 12.1 millimeters, but it really can never get that much bite because it doesn't have enough traction on its wheels to get up to full speed. Uh, but that's, in theory, how much bite it could get. Uh, the normal speed that I run it at is actually 5,000 RPM, which is where right before it starts vibrating and sounding like it's going to kill everyone in the room. So that's usually the speed I'm more comfortable running it at. Uh, the energy with that, it really only has 23 joules, which isn't nearly as much, but it's a lot more controllable and drivable and doesn't throw itself into the air. Uh, and that gives me a theoretical maximum bite of 55 millimeters, which is a lot better when I'm trying to really grab and throw my opponents across the across the battle box. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you found this information useful. And if you already have a robot, go ahead and leave in the description how fast your robot spins and how fast you can drive. Uh, I'm curious how my robots compare to all of your guys'. Uh, like and subscribe or whatever. Alright, well I have no idea why this tachometer had issues, but uh, laser's bright again, so that's good. Uh, I don't know why.
it's broken, but as soon as I put all the screws back in, it's gonna stop working, so I'm just not putting those screws back in. I can just throw these two screws out. All right, where were we?